So the college football playoff committee today voted to expand the college football playoff system to 12 teams in 2026, much faster than it was previously. I believe the old contract went to 2029, 2030. It, there's money to be made, man. You can't just leave it laying out there for three or four extra years. You got to get on now. So the format is this, 12 teams will be the six conference champions ranked highest by the selection committee, mostly composed of old white men, plus the sixth highest ranked teams not included amongst the six highest ranked conference champions. I mean, this sounds exciting, doesn't it? Yay, woo! And it, it, the problem that I have with this is they're talking about the first round games possibly being pay, played at campus sites. Uh, that's probably meaning, well, we'll play them at campus sites and so if somebody gives us away tons more money, or my buddy Bob over here can make way tons more money being a bull representative of some crappy bull wearing those stupid blazers, because I wouldn't want to cut my cronies out of the mix. See, I'd be excited about this if you said they're going to expand the 12-team playoffs and they're going to play those games, except for, let's say, the final, at campus sites. Because that would mean the possibility that, let's say, Alabama would have to come to Columbus, Ohio to play a game. Or, they'd, uh, or go to Ann Arbor. Or Miami might have to come to Lincoln, Nebraska. I know it's a long shot. We're not very good. But, hey, the guy can dream, right? I mean, think about that, how much more interesting and fun that would be. But no, they're going to keep the bowl system in place, the big six bowls. Why? Because, uh, because their cronies run those bowls. And they get paid way too much money to run the bowls. And they're not going to cut them out of the system. Listen, I'm an old guy. I'm nearing retirement. You know, all us old guys stick together. And we make sure that nobody gets cut out of the mix in deals. Unless you're Kevin Warren and USC, UCLA come calling, then I guess it's just. But do I do I like this? No, I don't like it. I don't like it because of the logistics. It further separates the haves and the have-nots. And this doesn't make sense to me. For decades of my life, we were told that college football was the amateurism of the game. You had to protect the sanctity of the amateurism and the tradition and the student athlete. And now we're just pissing all that away, except I'm sure that the Big Ten is going to come out with some statement about how they're including the bowl system to protect the tradition of the Rose Bowl because Big Ten people have some bug up their ass about the Rose Bowl. Even though for years they've gone out there and lost national championships. Honest to God, I swear to God, that for years they've been putting something in the water at Big Ten schools something in the food for their students, and then they all come out indoctrinated. The Rose Bowl. We want to go to the Rose Bowl. Well, do you really want to do that when you really could see I mean, Clemson playing at uh, Washington? I, doesn't that make more sense to you? Doesn't the logistics of this bother you? Doesn't the haves versus the have-nots bother you? We've seen conference expansion starting to push other teams out of the mix. In other words, they're not even going to be, they're not going to be able to compete for championships. Ryan Day at Ohio State gave us a $13 million per year number for nil that you would have to pay to players to be competitive for a championship. You're going to see any of those teams that are being pushed out of this compete for that? No. So I guess, you know, me as a Nebraska guy, we're still one of the best brands in college football, even though we're not very good. We're going to be included in this. I screw the Ohio State people I know. You know, all them old Big 8 teams that I used to know. Yeah, too bad. You know, most of you are just screwed. Uh, the G5 pretty much will become like a farm league for coaches and players who will start there. And if they're good, they'll just transfer portal right into the big ones. Is this good for the long term of the game? I don't think it is. I don't think it could be as near as fun as if we, we played them on campus sites. Do I sound like an old man who's against change? You know, I'd hope not because I'm not against change. I'm not against the 12-team playoff. I'm just against the logistics because of this. If you're going to blow up college football, then blow the fucking thing up. And you didn't. 
you included the bowls, which have been a screw job for years. For years, people have been traveling from cold places to warm places to spend money. Well, how about I get spent money on college campuses across the nation instead of consolidating it to warm weather areas? The other thing is this. If you're a guy who's going to travel, if you're a fan, a big fan of whatever team you're a fan of, are you really going to travel from bowl site to bowl site to watch your team? Do you have that much money? Probably not. You know who does, doesn't have to worry about that? Uh, people who are on college football teams, coaches and players, uh, people who are in the media who, honestly, if you go out on Twitter and you see them talking about this, they're not really going to have to worry about travel expenses, so they don't give a shit about it. And people who run colleges and universities because they could just be included in the entourage with their families and get a free vacation to warm places. So a 12-team playoff. And the whole thing is like dangling a carrot. There'll be more teams involved. There might be upsets. No, there won't. There'll just be the same fucking four teams beating the shit out of everybody because they have money and the rest of everybody else doesn't. And maybe somewhere you can go, my team made the playoff. Great. Woohoo! Yeah, good for you, buddy. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. I'd like to hear if you, you're excited about it, if you disagree with it, or you hate it. The only thing I'll say now, last, the last thing I'll say is, if you wanted college football to be more like the NFL, then why don't you just go watch the NFL? They have a great playoff system. They move it around. They have a Super Bowl that moves around. It's like they want to spread the money around or something. It makes sense. College football, I realize it's always been insane, but to, lately it's just been about a giant money grab. I guess it's not all bad. I mean, C.J. Stroud, it was announced that C.J. Stroud, starting quarterback for Ohio State, spent $60,000 buying his teammates, including the walk-ons, suits. I didn't have a suit in college. I remember one time somebody took me to the fancy dinner at the Lincoln Country Club, and I had to borrow uh, the guy's suit who was, was taking us, one of his suits, because he had multiples. And, uh, you know, it was a good time. And I didn't know how to tie a tie, and I didn't have a suit. So I guess all the money in college football isn't bad. It's just, it could have been better. And that's what bothers me. Again, I'd like to hear your thoughts. This is John Johnson Coronation. Please subscribe to my channel, and uh, go Big Red.